Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill, and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. All right, I'm going to get going. So I just wanted to mention again um, my paper share. So 156 sheets, it's $53 plus the $8 shipping, and you get a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. 12 sheets of all the new ones, the in colors you get. 10, everything is 6 by 6. Um, the shimmer vellum, gold rose, metallic, specialty paper, the ombre paper, and then a little something, something from me. So um, I need to know by the third so I can place my order. Um, anybody who has already asked for it, I sent out the, um, whatchamacallits today, the money request. So, um, I think I got one more thing. Oh, this is the instructions. Because in order for me to make the envelope, I'm not that good with math. I count on my friend Tony T for that. Yep. So she sent me, she draws it out and everything, tells me where to cut, because it's definitely not my jam. Okay, so I am going to do a quick card first. Hopefully it's quick. <laughs> so Inspiring Canopy is the set that I'm using. Um, also Nature's Beauty and Way to Goat. And... I have a special visitor. She does tricks. She's been sitting here doing tricks. So Mini Me came for a visit. So she was sitting on here and then all of a sudden, she, whoops, that's not what she was doing. She was like sliding down it. I'm like, Mini Me, what are you doing? She says, just killing time until you get your butt going. So She's going to watch now because she wants to learn how to do it. She's like a funny girl. All right. So we got our pieces. So this was from the greenery, and I've used that a couple times. So we're going to start out with this piece, five by three and three quarters. And we're going to put a little bit of greenery on it so and I am putting that piece on there but just a little bit that'll hover up above it and then balmy blue we're going to do a little bit of sky so first, I'm just going to put like a light coating on there. Okay, then we're going to make some clouds. I think I like that side the best. Okay, so we've got some some clouds in there. Now let's find the tree. So I already used the one piece for the other card. Oh, we could get a sneaky peeky. Here's the sneaky peeky. Oh. That's the money card. Okay. So we're just going to take this and cut it apart. And I'm even going to cut the bottom off. It's going to get hidden anyway. Doesn't even matter if any of your bits are left in there. And here I go pushing it out anyway. Funny. 
just can't help myself. So pop some glue in a few places. And we're going to put that right about there. Okay, then we can take this piece and glue that on. Just straighten it out. Okay, so now I've got like a whole bunch of these already done. That's for the other card. Um, that could be for this one. Okay, so let me show you how I got to this. Because this was just plain paper. Mm, I thought I had a piece of it here. Maybe I used it all. No, I didn't. Okay, so I just put layers of color. I started out with, and I used the brushes, so I did some granny apple green, some old olive, and then I just take the brush and smash the darkest color, which is mossy meadow, on there. But I'm going to be using some more mossy meadow, and it works like these couple are done. So you can see the difference between the light and the dark. And then some pieces get shaded a little darker anyway because of, you know, where they get cut out of the paper. So I just take the mossy meadow and tap it again across the top. So it's like a quick and easy way to add a little bit more, that's better, a little bit more color to them. You can probably use a dauber also, it would work. But this just seemed easy that, you know, you're not sitting and flicking and you can do a little bit on the bottom. I think that's like way more than enough, but I'll have them for the next card. <laughs> I'll probably pounce more color on them anyway. All right, so we probably only need like four or five pieces on this one. It's the other one I need more. So then you just layer them however you want, use different sizes. So I'm just going to go for it. So just a few dots of glue. Let me try this glue. Might be easier for my hands. Um, just what I need my gal fix. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Okie dokie. So let's take this one. It's a little darker. And this wasn't on white. I think this was very vanilla. Although it's hard to tell now. We could do another big one. So you can also take um, like one of the light green cardstock if you have and um, just put some color on that so you're already starting with the green 
but it's another great way to use up scraps is to just do it on bits of scraps <laughs> scraps that are left you know what I don't think I'm gonna build it up anymore because we're gonna put some apples on it which are now all over the place And I kind of colored them with uh, the blends. I just like dab some color on. So we'll see how easy or hard it is to get, get them flipped over. <laughs> hard. Remember tiddlywinks? That's what I kind of feel like. Oh, trick me. I didn't do that one. I kept turning it over. Okay. So now I'm going to put, like in some of the spots that have holes, but then again, you kind of want it. Like you do see through a tree, so I don't want to cover them all up. So I'll start with those, and then we'll see... Oh, that was way too much glue there. And we'll see where else is needed. And then I know I want one down here. Doesn't matter which side. Okay, so it needs one there, um, maybe kind of there, that's the trick one. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll stick that one like kind of under and maybe um, no nope. I'll just have to do it on top there okay looks like enough apples to me although they're just little dots All right, so now somewhere is the goat. The goat is lost. He was here. Oh, I know, he's in here. We got a goat. We got a deer. Oh, dear. And we have a couple of bunnies. There should be, there he is. There's the little honey bunnies. That's for the other card. Okay, so he's gonna go down. We're gonna put a couple instructions. We're gonna put a couple of these little minis on his head. So he's partly popped up. Um, he's grazing. <laughs> See, I'm not going to forget to take that off like I normally do. Come on, just a drop. Just a drop on his little feet. Now, you see how he's looking? He's like, I'm going for that apple. That was my little plan there. Okay, where's the little stamp? 
So he's saying hello there. You know what? I'm gonna stay I'm gonna put it on the card base first. Hi Carol. Did I even have one? Good thing I cut more today. Oh, I didn't score that even. So we'll go on this side. Oh, I put it away. Look, the bunny wants to go. Minnie Me's over there laughing. Okay, now we're going to stamp the hello there. Hello there, Apple. You are mine. There it is. So there's card number one. And there's only card number two and then envelope. Because I don't know how long that's going to take me. All right, let me put this little pin in. Oh, not in the finger. In there. Ooh. All right, so these will be for another card. I'm going to take these out, and there could be some of the other ones in there. So last night, Heather used, was it last night or the night before? I don't even know. I lost track of time. Heather did this set. And she made a little bush. Oh my goodness. So, here are all the things we need. You know I'll lose something. This is the card. Like that. And it opens up like that. Another little bunny. A little dollar in there. <laughs> Make sure it fit. So let's go ahead. So you want to start with a piece that's seven and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Got your pens ready? I'm going to post it anyway. Like I typed it all up. And I'll post it in the, um, the sharing group. Mm. Good coffee. Okay. I'm going to put these in there and move these over. Because I don't need as many as is there. As is there. All right. Let's hope this fits. Now, this has been playing games on me, too. Like, I keep going to score, and it slips out into another another thing. Okay. So, we're going to score at 3 and 6. Let me just make sure I'm in the right direction again, because I've done that, too. It's that way. Because then we go down here. Okay. So it's this way for the three and six on the longer side. So three. And maybe this won't bounce out like my other little thing does. And six. Then on this side, you're going to go. Are you able to see it even? I hope. Going to go. A half and I turn it and a half so that's 
for the card itself. So we're going to take and fold everything, and I'm just giving it a, a quick fold. And there. Okay, so now you have like a wider side and a shorter side. So the shorter side is where it's going to fold up and that's where your moolah goes. But we're going to cut away all of this. I don't know which is going to be the best scissor to do it either. Now you can also do it on the other cutter and just like zip it off. But you want to cut on, look how crooked that is because I'm holding it like out. <laughs> and I do like a little snip there. God, that's not even. Maybe this isn't the scissor to use. All right, so you're going to clip just a little hair off those corners and then turn it over to do the other side. Yeah, this one's better, of course. So we'll just have one crooked side like doesn't matter and then again we're going to snip right there and right there <laughs> all right so now we're going to take the bone folder and make them a little crisper Now you can use tear and tape or glue, whichever is easier. I'm just used to my glue. And then this is going to just fold flat. So in and on top. So do, I got to hold it for a second. So having those two flaps there, it gives it like a little bit of a pucker. For more moolah. Did you make the envelope? I did and I'm going to make it for you guys too. You're going to get all the instructions. Really Heather? Uh, yeah I think you're right. It was the one before. Now that I think of it. Okay. So now that we got this, we're going to decorate it. So this paper was from the Sea Life. I'll call it that. It's retiring. You can still get it. Uh, where is it? It is. I still have a bunch of it, too. Oops, I just pulled it all out. Okay. It is... Sand and Sea designer. And then the other is from Greenery. So these pieces, did I write it down? I had to have written it down. This is um, two and three quarters, I remember, without even looking. Two and three quarters by six. Now, that's going to be the outside. I got to fix that. And then the inside you're going to cut a strip off, you know, I mean, you're not going to be doing exactly what I'm doing, but whatever you decide to do, it's two and three quarters by 12. Where's the other piece? And this way worked out so you didn't lose any paper. So two and three quarters by 12. 
Then on one of them, you're going to take and clip off, I think it's a, a straight half inch. Half inch. Yes, half inch. So this is two. Two? So this ends up two and an eighth. So that can't be a quarter. A half. It's a little bit bigger than a half inch. I probably cut wrong. Anyway, what does it say on there? Da, 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 da. Did I not? Oh, yeah. Two and three quarter. Yeah, it is. It's a half. So one is two and a half. This should be. No. Two. It should be two. I don't know. I don't know. I'll fix it before I post it. Anyway. Then you're going to have another piece. Depending on your um, DSP that you use on the inside, you know, like so that they can write. So like on this one, I put this inside. But if you're using, you know, like a light paper or you don't even have to decorate that part. Like on this, because it's colored cardstock, you could just put the whole thing as, as white. So then forget about that cutting 12 inches. You know? Okay. So this one is two and a half by... Five. So let's get to it. My goodness. I'm going to decorate this before I put it on the front. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to take all these pieces. Oh, but let me show you how I did it. The sides. These come from this. So what you do is take your, now either a sponge or your brushes, and this still has plenty on it. So right now it's got um, what's left of the mossy meadow, but it looks more like old olive because we're just using what's left. So that's all you're going to do. You can also, which I think I may have, is, you know, put some more dark spots on it. I think that's what I did, and that's why they're darker. So we're going to go and do that. First, um, I put paper under it, but I'm just going to take this. And I don't want to do too much. But I do want to come up a little bit here. So that way you're not going to see the blue through it. We hope. Otherwise, just put a strip of something. So, and I let it go over. So we're just going to build it up like that, just like that. So let's start doing it. I um, think I'm going to put the bunny down first, though, because I want his little cute butt sticking out. And that just got way too much on it. That's the wrong flower, I mean bushes. I mean, isn't that a cute little bunny butt? I mean, seriously. Yeah, well, I forgot to put some on his ears. Such a cute little bunny butt. So we can let that go a little bit on top of him. Stay. Stay. And once it's down, then anything that's hanging over, 
I will trim off. Let's do that one there. I'm actually gluing it to my paper. I know I love nature's beauty. I was glad to. I've pulled it so many times to use it for different things. I was kind of sad about like waterfront and stay. Now this little piece, this little piggy, can kind of go right there. All right, we're going to have to cut him because he was supposed to go down too. Ah, oh, he's still going to fit. Silly. I was like, how do I know how high to go? Oh, the deer, the deer. They're just in the thicket. Not that one. You can build it up as much or as little as you want. Told you I was gluing it to the paper. And then we'll do one more there. And we don't want to see what's between his legs there, so her legs. We're going to put another one right there. Mini me. I didn't mean it like that. All right, I think that's looking kind of okay. I think one more right there. You know how you can get carried away. Same as with a stamp. Oh, one more here. Oh, one more there. No apples in this one, though. Yay! All right, let's cut this off. A little piece there. Okay, I am going to stamp Happy Birthday, and this is a great guy card. You know how we always need those. Well, grandson card, son card, I don't know how often you give, uh, a husband or boyfriend money. 
in a card. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to work on the inside. So we're going to take the smaller piece. And put that there. Then, since this was cut off of that, it's going to match. So we've got that, and then you can give them a bill. Then we're going to take this, hopefully there's a little bit left on here, so now you have a place to write A little something something sign your name. Don't spend it all in one place, Grandma. <laughs> okay, let's make sure something fits. And there we go. So you still see a little of that. And where's the other bunny? because we have to have a little bunny butt on the inside too. And you can decorate it or leave it, you know, little plain, only put something here. So there he is in the thicket again. So now we can just glue this on. More ways to use up our leftovers. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, I'm going to set this aside, let it finish drying, and we are going to make an envelope. Now the other one I did in green, this one I did it like that, but this one we're going to do in white. So let me get my little score marks. Uh, score at two and five and a quarter. Where's my score right next to me? All right, so... Two, I just have to make sure I'm on the right thing. Half and seven. She drew it out like, oh, where's the other thing? I'll know it better from that. All right, so that's going to be two because that's the long way, right? Right. And then one, okay. So where's the thing? I got a thingy. Um, right. Right on. Two and five and a quarter. So, I just feel like I'm not doing this right. Two 
and five and a quarter. I don't think I did it right. One half. Yes, I did. Oh, yes. I and seven? That don't look long enough. But that way I wouldn't have hit seven. So it's right. It's right. Okay, it's right. So we're going to fold it all. I'm making it harder than it is, really. Only because I'm just not used to um, demoing this type of stuff. I mean, I used to do it at my classes, but we sat and did it slow. Okay, so now all four sides have to get out all four corners so so you want to cut on the inside of that line and we're going to cut that one right to the corner I think I didn't go far enough am I in camera? yeah I am but I'll move anyway. That should go a little more. And then, um, I'm going to do this anyway. She didn't show it on her diagram, but I liked it. So we're going to cut that one off. Oh, it's hard to see the lines. And I didn't angle that enough. Okay. Let's make sure there. Everything is very sticky from my hands. That we're not going to, yeah, we are going to see that. Okay, so now, doesn't matter which way you, you glue it, but I wouldn't use um, sticky tape unless you have a thinner one because this is not a quarter of an inch. And the first time I had sticky glue that I had to like scrub off. So I'm using the liquid glue and just putting a thin line. And you want to do these flaps first. Let's just burnish it and make sure it's going to stick. And then this one, see, and if you don't cut on the, that, like your score mark off, it's going to get in your way. So this piece gets glued to the outside of the envelope. And you can do this with DSP also. Like nobody says you have to just do the matching color cardstock or white. Because I'd never say that's how you have to do it. You just do it. So you could match the inside DSP with your envelope. Okay, and then your card wherever that went. Oh, it's right here. Your card is going to just... Oh, no, wait. One more thing. You want to, like, squeeze it a little bit and then this is a three-quarter inch retired one. So kind of make like you're confined the middle and just go halfway. 
that way your card can go in and you can pull your card out but if you were to do this on you know DSP you can just put a label on it sticky label write your address so I will put those instructions on um, the Gail Sue sharing page and because you can't put stuff on the business page like that I don't know why they do that so there's that there's the envelope and oh I didn't show you this one so I did another one there's that one just happy birthday oh another dollar just put that on the inside in white because this was a darker so we had that one and then the one from the other day that I originally showed so we'll put that that and then here's the card and I'll just kind of get it lined up and there we go so yeah so don't forget if you need a catalog just give me a message um, if you want to join the paper share send me a message with your email and then I will um, send you um, a request in PayPal and um, yeah, and these will be listed. On, I'll put them on YouTube also, but they'll be in the sharing group and on YouTube. So thanks, everybody, for being here tonight, and I'll see you Sunday. Have a great week.